there. I had a really long swimming session today and now I'm quite hungry. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. My fingers look so similar to these raisins, all wrinkled and pruny. In fact, you would have also noticed that our fingers get really wrinkly if they remain in water for a long time. For instance, after a relaxing time in the bathtub or on the beach. But why do we get wrinkly fingers? Just like you and me, scientists have also been curious about what happens to this huge outer covering of our body. The skin. The skin is a layer of protection for all our organs and tissues beneath it. Earlier, when people observed the wrinkling, they thought that the water must be getting absorbed inside the skin, causing it to swell. Just like how raisins swell when soaked in water. However, since water is only absorbed by the outer layer of the skin, the layers underneath it would remain the same in size. It was then thought that this would cause the skin to eventually tire and fold up. So it would wrinkle and appear like dried raisins. The opinions on wrinkly fingers changed in the 1930s. Doctors observed that some fingers on a boy's hand were not wrinkled, while some others were wrinkled. What was different about those unwrinkly fingers was that the boy had lost sensation in those fingers due to nerve damage. But how did that stop the fingers from getting wrinkled? The search for the answer to this question led the scientists to our nervous system. The scientists had an idea that the nervous system must somehow be responsible for causing wrinkly fingers. To understand this, Let's dig deeper into our skin. Our skin is quite complex and multi-layered. We can see only the outer part of our skin called the epidermis. But the layer below the epidermis called the dermis is where a lot of interesting things happen. It is because of the dermis that we feel the sensation of touch. It contains nerve endings and blood vessels. It is now believed that when our fingers are soaked in water for a long time, the nerves send a signal to the brain, which responds by reducing the flow of blood in the blood vessels. These blood vessels are like flexible tubes carrying blood throughout the body. When a lot of blood flows through the tubes, they can open up wide. And when less blood flows through them, they can shrink down a bit. So. In response to the brain's command, the flow of blood reduces and the blood vessels shrink in size. When the blood vessels shrink, the layer of skin which they are a part of also becomes thinner. As a result, the layer above this one, the epidermis, relaxes and becomes a little looser. Quite like this cloth. See how smooth it is when stretched tightly around a fully blown balloon. But when the balloon deflates, it becomes wrinkled. To know more about the human skin, check out Baiju's The Learning app. Now we understand how the fingers wrinkle. But I wonder why we are programmed to make our fingers wrinkly when they are soaked in water. Let's look closely at these wrinkles. They remind me of rain treads on the car tyres which channel the water away on a road. They help the tyres to have a better grip of the road during rainy days. So perhaps this could be an adaptation to help us get a better grip on a wet surface. Perhaps the wrinkles on our fingers shred the water away to give us a better grip. Well, scientists are not sure yet, but they have conducted several experiments. One of such experiments showed that people with wrinkly fingers can actually hold or grip wet objects like marbles 
much better than people who have dry, non-wrinkly fingers. We can imagine how advantageous the extra gripping power would have been to our ancestors in climbing trees during heavy rains. Hey, do you think that our toes also get wrinkled? And if they do, how would that help us? I'm going to await your replies in the comment section below.